literally a vlogmas and Emily has not left the hat, no. I've got the wardrobe people, wow, my hair's everywhere. I've got the wardrobe people here again today, but they're finishing, which is very exciting, but it also means I am stuck in the house again. But I decided tomorrow is the day that we are going to put the Christmas decorations up, which is very exciting, which means I need to get my Christmas pajamas all washed and ready because I want to wear them whilst I put the Christmas decorations up. But I am ravenous. I got up this morning, I worked out, I had a few calls and I am just so hungry. Like I need to eat. I also need to go grocery shopping because I do not have enough food in the house. I have bananas actually i can have some bananas i don't know what with but you guys i'm so happy to be back vlogging i am just so happy i just love this channel i was looking at it earlier and i was like oh my goodness people are actually watching them and i was like oh i'm so happy i just really like it so much so yeah welcome to the vlog welcome back to my life good morning i have had so many parcels delivered this morning that we need to unbox i ordered some plates some bowls some bits from the white company I'm trying to think what else just stuff home stuff saying I have so many parcels was a tad dramatic because there's two. <laughs> but my Zara home order came in this little bag. I don't, I don't really understand and it doesn't sound too healthy. It sounds smashed. So that's going to be really disappointing if it is. Oh no! Well, this one's not. <laughs> we have a soup bowl. A plate. This is not smashed. Wonderful. Yeah, this one's smashed. I mean, it's not smashed smashed, it's chipped, but that's a shame. We'll have to uh, email them for a new one. I just don't understand why it's come in a bag like this. So I was really struggling to decide what to get plate-wise. And I always said I really wanted this house to be super eclectic and random. So I just ordered a few. And this is... Oh no, this is smashed as well. Yeah, they're both chipped. Okay, wonderful. Well... That's a shame. But yeah, I really wanted the house to be super eclectic and random because I didn't want to be upset if like I bought a set of six and then one broke and I couldn't get one anymore. Like I just, do you know what I mean? So yeah, in the end, I decided we're gonna go for random things. Let's see how these survive. Okay, plate. It's fine. So these are the same style of plate as the floral dessert plates I have, but they just don't do the floral ones anymore, which is such a shame. Or I would have just bought the whole set. So I've got four of those. I know normally you'll probably get six, but like I said, I want everything to be a bit more random. And I think that just allows me the space to like get some other cute bits. I got another bowl. I got two of those. And then I got a couple of like floral plates. I thought these were gorgeous. Zara Home do have really, really lovely plates. And I don't know if they have any like silverware cutlery. I actually need to get some cutlery. Actually, I should probably order that today. But I thought these were gorgeous. But it's just a shame about the couple that arrived smashed. I just don't really understand why they arrived in such dire packaging. And then this box from the White Company. Oh my goodness, let's open. I'm so excited. Okay, this is the top. So all of my towels that I have, apart from those Love Shack fancy ones that are like cardboard, are from the White Company. I love them, but they're also maybe six years old, five years old. They're fine, but they're just, you know, it, new home, new me, new life era, new towels. So exciting. Oh my goodness, this is so ridiculously exciting. So, yes, it says on them what they are. Okay. I mean, I may as well take them all out of the bags as I go because I'm going to anyway. So this style of towel is the... Is the... Ah, here we go. The Rib Hydrocotton. I'm sure it says it right here too, it does it. It's the Rib Hydrocotton 100% cotton white hand towel. And I think this is the hand towel too. I did go for white towels. I just love the look of white towels and I love the look of the ribbing and these are the softest towels you will ever feel in your whole entire life. And yeah, I just, I love the look of white towels in the bathroom. I think I had pink when I was younger. And I don't know, I think people just think it's risky having white towels, but I actually think it's quite good because as soon as there's any dirt on them or any marks or anything you can see, and then you know it's time to wash them. So this is the hand towel. Here we go, we have the bath sheets of these. Yes, the bath sheets. Now these are humongous. Wait, I have to stand. Honestly, how gorgeous is that? I cannot wait. I mean, obviously I need to wash them all first, but to be wrapped up in this, out of the bath or out of the shower. So basically these are all 
bath towels and then we have a robe so this is the hooded ribbed robe and it's in the same hydro cotton material. I posted about this a couple of weeks ago actually because they have it in pink as well. And I was unsure whether I was going to do the pink or the white, but I am very glad that I went for the white because I think it's just far more cohesive and you know that I live in my dressing gown. And this is going to be like my post shower, post bath dressing gown. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. There's so much to be said for investing in things for your home that make you feel comfortable and cozy and warm and safe. I, yeah, that's how these things make me feel. And then there's three more bath sheets in here, but I also got, I was so excited to see these. Aren't they adorable? I love any ribbed glass, I think, but these particularly caught my eye and I thought they were beautiful. So whilst I was doing the towel order, I was like, let's treat ourselves. But I have also realized I had my mirrors delivered, didn't I, the other day? And I haven't been able to get to them because of the Karen's bags that are here. And they are going to be gone today. Well, I hope, as far as I'm, I know and on the schedule, they're supposed to be done today. It looks like they're going to be, which means we'll then finally be able to open the mirrors. But there is no way I'm messing around with mirrors that big and that heavy on my own. So I need to have a couple, I think, of my friends or just a strong friend come over and help me because I do not want to be responsible. But how beautiful are these? I've got my gorgeous towels. I'm going to start putting these through the wash. And then, yeah, just some plates. Just nice to have some plates, you know? And I thought these would look very cute on this. And I really love the fact as well that these are ivory and not bright white. I just think it's way more homey. I actually love this. I might get a couple more of the green plates because I love how they look stacked. And my only thing with this, I didn't like the bit in the center, but I really liked the bit around the outside. And then with the ones that were smashed, oh no, this smashed. No, it's fine. Well, it is a little chipped. Oh no. Zara, what are you doing? It's normally packaged so well. It feels like the box got wet or something and disintegrated and then the curry has just whacked it in a bag and it's not gone well. <laughs> okay, round one of towel washes is on. Well, load one, I guess. I believe this is my far-fetch parcel. I could be wrong, but I think it is. It's like triple wrapped. I think this is far-fetch. It's a pair of shoes or so. Yes, it is. <laughs> So I got myself another pair of sandals. I really struggle with footwear and I what I'm lacking at the moment is something that I can wear with like my nude outfits and beige outfits that's not white trainers. And I saw these, oh, they're so nice. I thought, wow, they look big though. They're, I mean, they're a six. I think they're the same size as my other sandals, but I just thought these were quite nice. I mean, they look more of a stone color in person, honestly, than beige. So I need to like see how they look with my outfits. But I just thought these were quite sweet and I found them all far fetch and they were a really good price and they had my size in stock. So this is very exciting. They're from a company called Stadium Goods. Farfetch are like a, I don't know how you describe it, not a marketplace, but they have a ton of like boutiques that you, like when you're shopping on there, it will be sent out from a boutique that has like the hard to get item you're looking for, which is, you know, really handy. So I'll try those on. Oh my goodness. One of the fitters just called me upstairs and was like, okay, decision time. You need to pick where the handles are going. So I've just gone up and I've picked for my dressing room, which by the way, <gasps> I'm so happy. I took such a risk with the covers that I chose because they are quite a traditional style and I didn't know if I was going to feel like it looked dated, but I'm so happy. Like genuinely over the moon. I need to pick some fabric for the inside. I mean, I've picked where I want my handles to go, but I also just thought I'd let you know, if you look at my face and you're like, why do your eyes look like that? I have not been crying. I'm not sad. I have not like, I don't know, but basically I think it's hormonal. Once a month I wake up for like two, three days in a row and it looks like I have black eyes. I don't know why it's nothing to do with how much I sleep. I thought originally it was a skincare product I was using. I thought I was using maybe like a retinol that was too strong for me and nope I've used nothing new in the last week so I have concluded that it must be hormonal because I don't know what else it is I, I mean it kind of looks a bit like eczema I don't know but it can't be the weather because this has been happening since like August but I would take pictures in the mirror at my mum and dad's house and it because of the shadows it would genuinely look like I had a black eye and I know so many people were like concerned and here it is again so I really don't know where it's come from yeah I thought it could be weather thought it could be skincare and I yeah I looked at my cycle tracking and I looked 
looked at my photos that I've taken of it in the past and it's always at the same point in my cycle. So that's where I'm at right now. It could be something else. So let me know if you have any idea what it could be. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel any different. It's just, it literally looks like this. It's very strange. I don't know. But I just thought I would let you know in case you were looking at this thinking, has she been crying or has something happened to her face? I don't even know how obvious it is on camera, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be gone by tomorrow weird okay i have random jobs i need to do i need to make the return of this lulu parcel because the leggings do not fit so they need to go back they've been sat there for far too long is anyone else like that i just they're jobs that i put off because they're so annoying it literally has been sitting in my space and i've not done anything with it but it's there and i need to do it so we're going to do that today and that will feel very good very accomplished <laughs> I mean, it's not like a huge thing really, is it? But it's a big tick for me. I'm very excited. I have not ordered a Nando's. I don't even know when the last time was. When I was at my parents' was the last time, I think. And I usually get the wraps, but today I got the pizza. And I'm a Perry Tamer girl. I got the double chicken Perry Tamer wrap. I mean, it doesn't look the most appetizing, but when I tell you it is so yummy, I just fancy a chicken wrap for lunch. So I decided to treat myself and this very much excites me. Gosh, we need some lights. So my friends, I have just been <laughs> all the way upstairs to get this jacket to try the leggings on one more time. And I actually do think I'm going to keep them. I just don't think I'm used to them being flared. I tried them on the day after I got them and I was like, immediately no, immediately no. And then I kept putting off sending them back. And I just think in the back of my head, I knew I was just being really picky, but actually I can see myself wearing these so much. But the last few hours have been a little bit chaotic. So basically there has been so much rubbish from my installation because obviously everything comes in packaging so it was all outside my house and then they came to get rid of it like the rubbish guys I guess and he was like yeah I can't take it all and I was like what do you mean you can't take it all because like if it rains oh my goodness it's all gonna be just drenched and then how do you even dispose of that properly so I was on the phone to Hammond's and I was like what like what do I do so thankfully they were like oh we'll just book another rubbish collection and I was like okay we'll just hope it doesn't rain and somehow in like 20 minutes they called the rubbish company the rubbish company they've sent someone else and it's all gone which is amazing so i'm very happy about that because it was starting to uh stack up and my drawing room was getting darker and darker because the front of my house was just piled high with like cardboard but obviously where else do you put it so thankfully it's gone but yeah i am gonna keep leggings i feel very very good in them actually i just you know sometimes you get in your own head and then you look in the mirror and you're like Aah! But like, no, we're not here for that. We're here for body loving and body celebrating. And these are really, really comfortable. And I'm trying to add things to my clothing collection, my wardrobe that make me feel very good and very put together and very comfortable, but like not messy. Do you know what I mean by that? I want to feel put together, but I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, like work-wise, I'm just waiting for them to leave so I can go and have a look, but I don't know how long they've got left. So I'm just gonna wait and see. I mean, I'm excited to go and have a look. I might keep these on now. They're so comfy. Let's rip the label off together. It's commitment. Look at me stepping out of my comfort zone. Give this video a like for me doing something I wouldn't usually do. Not the shopping, I do that. Okay, two things. I'm about to go and take Cody for a walk and then we'll catch up. Number two, they're gone. It's done. I don't want to say any more right now. I cannot even tell you how nice it is to have an empty house. They left and I've obviously just gone to walk Cody and I've walked back in. It's like... Oh, the calm after the storm. But oh my goodness, I cannot even tell you how amazing it looks. But I just want to talk about something first. Um, I don't know if this is something I necessarily need to have a conversation about, but I am because I just want to like, I don't know, like say what I'm thinking. I know I don't have to have this conversation, but I feel like for myself, I have to have it. And I was thinking about it on my walk. And I just want to like manage your expectations when it comes to like me and Christmas and my decorations and my home and I think my home in general like this isn't going to be one of those like perfect Instagram houses I will not spend hours decorating for Christmas and days and doing all the hacks and doing all the DIYs like don't get me wrong I want my house to feel so dreamy and like my home and so Christmassy and so decorated but I have felt this pressure over the last couple days especially with all the like messages I've been getting about like when are you decorating are you doing this are you doing that 
and I just feel a bit overwhelmed. And I know I don't have to feel like that and I know it's meant with so much love, but I just wanna like manage your expectations. I am not going to have some crazy company come in and do all my decorations. I am not gonna go and spend a fortune on a ton of new things. Like I just, I, like I said, I want my house to feel Christmassy and homely and lovely, but I am just not that extravagant. Like I, I don't know. I find it stressful enough trying to even find like three baubles that I like, let alone, you know, a cohesive design that all makes sense and costs a thousand pounds. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> like I, I can't do that. I have a lovely tree. I have some garlands and some decorations from like previous years. I definitely want to go through the things that I've got before I go out and like buy anything else. But yeah, I just want to like let you know. I I've ordered that curtain rod so I can hang my garlands up as like a, a cute thing in the hallway. But yeah, please don't expect me to do this like crazy thing that you see everyone else doing like their porches and things like that on Instagram. It's just, it's just not me. Maybe that will be me in like five years, but right now that just makes me feel insanely overwhelmed and I just want to put pretty decorations up and enjoy it and put my little like nativity out and you know, like real decorations, not Instagram decorations uh so yeah if you are hoping to see that from me i'm just gonna let you know right now please don't be disappointed but yeah and similarly if you're expecting my like interior design skills to be tenfold and get an interior designer to like design my kitchen and design my this that i i i don't think i'm gonna be doing that i just want my home to feel like my home and even if it looks a bit strange and a bit unbalanced and a bit unfinished as long as it feels like my home i'll be happy so yeah i just wanted to say that before I get into anything and before you get <laughs> disappointed. I just want to feel like my home. I need a post-walk drink and I've run out of peppermint tea bags. I actually need to go grocery shopping but my HelloFresh gets delivered tomorrow so I wanted to wait until that came so I know what I've got and then I can go grocery shopping after that but I just really, really fancy peppermint tea but I don't have any. I think I have some chamomile tea. I could do that actually. I might actually do that. So, the important thing, the, uh, the dressing room, the gym, the drawing room. I I had a little nosy, I had a little like prance around and spin around. I had a real moment actually of, oh, I've seriously adulted here. Like having this house has been so insane and renovating this house has been so insane, but there's definitely certain moments where it's very loud, how insane it is. And walking into my dressing room tonight thinking, oh my goodness, I did this. Like I, I adulted this whole thing. Uh, it was just like insane. In like insane and i yeah i love it i'm over the moon with it obviously something that huge is such a risk because you never actually know what it's going to be like when it like materializes and i am so so happy it's yeah I can't wait to clean it and I can't wait to fill it. Obviously not doing that right now, but I genuinely just feel like the luckiest girl in the whole entire world. And I cannot believe I have enabled this for myself. I was thinking about this. I, I can't believe I have done this for me. Like how mad is that? It's so crazy. I can't deep it too much or I'll cry. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have a peppermint. I think I'll do this then. I also took all of the can you see all of the Christmas decorations off? Not the Christmas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why can't I talk? I'm so overwhelmed. The Christmas gift off the shelf because I'm gonna have a big tidy up tomorrow. I want to sort through all my Christmas decorations tomorrow, maybe even start putting them up, but mainly the goal for tomorrow is to clean everything. So I would like my dressing room cleaned. I want, well, honestly the whole house, but it needs to be clean before I start putting the decorations up. Otherwise it's just pointless. So yeah, I think tomorrow we'll clean and go through the decorations and then maybe the day after we'll start putting them up. I feel like that makes the most sense. I could just jump the gun do it all tomorrow and that's what I would usually do but I feel like that's not sensible and I feel like it's one of those things that if my parents were here they'd be like no take your time do it in the right order and I think this is one of those times where I have to use the like their little voice in my head and do do the right thing the sensible thing not necessarily the right thing. Welcome to my drawing room. I can't believe I'm actually in here. I haven't been able to use this room yet. It's been full of the builder's things. And finally he cleared them out, ready for Hammonds to come and do their thing. And now Hammonds are out. It's got my mirrors in the back that I need to have one of my friends to come over and help me. Otherwise it's just gonna be a disaster. But this is the drawing room. So at the back here we 
have a bookshelf. I was telling you in one of the previous videos that I thought initially I was going to have a piano here. I don't know, I still might, I mean I don't play so for me it's pointless but that was like the original idea for the room and I love the idea of having like a little book nook at the back with a cute armchair and then the upright piano here but who knows. And then we have this shelf here that's like a bookshelf at the top, cupboards at the bottom, and then initially it was going to be cupboards over the top here as well and up. And then it's just a bit frustrating with the radiator, it just makes it look a bit strange, but it looked weirder having cupboards over, because they went from like here, it looked very strange. We had so many different drawings done for that area, and in the end I was like, look, let's keep it simple, and I'll probably put like games or things in here, and then obviously books at the top. But I guess now I need to look into getting my TV mounted. I also need to measure and decide if I want to have the 55 inch in here or the 65 inch. And yeah, this is the drawing room for now. I obviously have my books upstairs that I can now unpack and then we will get decorating for Christmas. This is very surreal though. I was talking to a couple of my friends that came over the other week and we were joking that it's so funny that I have a whole extra room that I've just not even been able to use and I have gotten used to the space without this room and it's just so weird I can't believe I actually get to come and like spend my evenings in here and put my Christmas tree up in here and all things like that it's yeah I feel so full of gratitude right now like I can't even begin to explain it okay Ta -da. So, this was a really interesting one because I, well, there's slightly different depths anyway, each side of the chimney breast, but then obviously I also had the window, so I couldn't have had those covers out as far. And then I could have had those the same depth as this, but then I wouldn't have had as much space. So these are actually full deck hangings. So they fit a hanger in as usual. So this is a fully functional wardrobe, which is amazing. I also have drawers at the bottom look at this oh this is just gonna be so handy for storage and then at the top here we also have extra storage i just feel like this is absolutely invaluable and then this one again same deal at the top with the storage but you can kind of see the depth and it made far more sense with this one for it to be a sliding door. Tell me that's not the coolest thing. So I thought this was great. Now you can kind of see the depth. So this is my hand. This is like the depth. I don't, I don't have a tape measure on me, funnily enough, but this is going to be perfect for gym equipment, for makeup products, skincare products. Even if I really wanted to, I could probably use this as some form of like linen storage, but maybe it's not deep enough for that but I mean for like my weights it's literal perfection you know maybe this will be my gym equipment cupboard I actually have my treadmill coming next week and I do think I am going to get rid of the peloton because I just don't use it enough so if anyone wants it let me know it's one of those things I feel like I've been waiting for so long that it just feels very surreal and then we get to the dressing room I'm in here right now and I think I'm gonna save this until tomorrow to show you because it's dark and I don't want it to be anticlimactic and this is one of those rooms that I have been dreaming of for so many years and yeah I think sorry I'm gonna make you wait until tomorrow because I just think it's not gonna have the wow factor that I want it to have right now so yeah just know it's insane I've been walking in here running around twirling around acting like a freaking 12 year old because it just feels so ridiculous and I have no idea how I'm going to fill this I mean I'm sure I will I'm sure it won't take me very long but it just I, I I can't I feel like the luckiest girl in the whole entire world like seriously but back in the gym I feel like I didn't really give you a good overview this is what it looks like now so the room still feels huge which is so good obviously it feels a different shape because it's not like it's got the chimney breast and then kind of the bits at the side it feels more like a true rectangle now but I still really like it but I need to decide what wall I'm going to put the full length mirror on and what wall I'm going to put the treadmill on obviously the peloton i do think is going to go so i'm going to have like a space for doing like mat work weights and then somewhere for the treadmill so i don't really know but let me know what you would do with this room obviously i have this wall here 
have this wall here and then this wall which is you know the chimney breast and then this wall here but i do think in reality because of the shape of the room i should be doing my map work like this way so maybe i do the full length mirror here or even yeah maybe here or even here mm, but then we'll, where will i put the treadmill maybe like map work here with the full length mirror here and then the treadmill essentially where the peloton is I don't know. You want to go to bed, don't you? Come on, let's go down. I'm on my second cup of tea and it's the latest I've been up in so long. It's literally like 20 past midnight. I never do this. I feel like when you get fully into adulthood, you're either an early riser or you're like a complete night owl and it's like solidified by that point which camp you're in. So let me know in the comments, are you a night owl or are you like a, an early morning person? I am a morning person through and through. I get up early every day. I love my morning time and I really cherish it, but it means by like, 8.30, I'm so tired. So I don't even know what I've been doing for the past few hours, just sat on my laptop, honestly. But I am so over the moon with the progress in the house today. I called my parents and I was showing them everything and they were completely blown away. I've washed all of my new towels and they're ready to go into the bathrooms. And tomorrow we just have so much sorting and clearing up to do. And yeah, we get to sort the Christmas decorations and then put them up. It's crazy. And I will show you the dressing room tomorrow. But for now, I am going to have to love you and leave you because I am so tired. I don't know if you can tell from my face. But thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you bright and early in the morning where we're going to sort out my painfully average Christmas decorations. Good night.